Jesus led me to write this note. He wanted me to talk about this. Um, it, there's so much wisdom that goes into this, so I'm just basically scratching the surface. But my note reads, Husbands and wives, did you know that the way a heart loves and serves your spouse is a huge part of your sacrifice, praise, and worship unto God. If you are neglecting your role as husband or wife, by neglecting your spouse's heart, then you are neglecting God's heart, and Jesus does not accept your sacrifice. This is the truth. Become a holy living sacrifice by submitting your will unto God daily. And submitting your heart, mind, soul, and strength unto serving your spouse in the way of Jesus Christ. Because that is selfless love. Do you realize that if you're a husband or if you're a wife, that Jesus will judge the way that you have loved or not loved your spouse at the end of your life? And if he's given you a spouse, he's given you a gift. He's given you a gift. He's given you part of his heart by giving you your spouse. Do you realize this? If you're neglecting your wife, or if you're neglecting your husband, then you will answer to Jesus. And it's a big deal because, because when, when a person isn't putting all of their heart and everything into their marriage, if they're just treating their marriage as though it's some sort of Thing that they're involved with but it doesn't become their life you know like if your spouse isn't your best friend if your spouse isn't if you guys aren't a team together then you're just going to be working against each other and God wants to teach you how to work together and you do that first by being the one who repents before Jesus and who repents to your spouse for the way that you've been neglecting their hearts. And, you know, if you say to yourself, well, what about my husband or what about my wife? She's done this and she's done that. Or he's so horrible, he's done this and that. Why should I have to submit? You guys, marriage is a beautiful example of God's love for his people. And if there are people who are claiming God who are not putting forth the effort to really sustain, maintain, and build your marriage into the likeness of Christ, then you're failing miserably. Miserably. And it's not a sacrifice that God will accept. Because he only accepts the sacrifice that are perfect and perfect in his love. That are growing in his love. And you can start today, you can start right now, by repenting to Jesus and asking him to help you Understand your spouse's heart, and his heart, of course, and how to love them and to be long-suffering, selfless, um, compassionate, merciful, and to be their support team, to be the place where they rest their head. I just want to read these few scriptures that, to help bring encouragement, um, that helps me in, in my own um, marriage. Romans 12.1 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Psalm 50:14 reads, Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High. So it's not just talking about your vows before God, but your marriage vows, you know. Um, pay your vows by being faithful and honoring your vows. Um, by getting the counsel from Jesus Christ on how to become the God-fearing and God-loving um you know, um, husband or wife. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, 
knowing that of the Lord you shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, the inheritance is Jesus Christ, and those who are walking with him will naturally fear him and will do everything as unto the Lord. And that means if your husband or wife is having a bad day um, and they're, they're difficult to love, you continue to love them because God continues to love his people. He continues to love, and that is the long-suffering love of Jesus Christ. It is. And if you continue to love your spouse, and let's just say your spouse isn't seeking Jesus, your love in itself has the power to save their soul. So it's so important that you draw near to Jesus and get to know his heart and get to know your spouse's heart. I love you guys, and God bless.